Hey everybody, this is Mark in Clay, Alabama in beautiful foothills of the Appalachian Mountains. We're going to actually do a comparison flight, hopefully from the XKX520 to the Mira Robot M600 VTOL. Uh, things I like about the X520 is, man, it's, it's a tough bird. I've crashed this just about every time that I've flown it. Glued the nose on about four times, added a FPV camera while the nose was off, ran it through the middle of the body. Uh, the M600 is fast. It's quick. It's a great glider. I really like this one. Only flown it a couple of times, so hopefully we'll get a side-by-side -side or something going on here with a nice review of both. One thing I don't like about the Mirror Robot is that when you put it in uh, vertical to land, it will climb about 20, 15, 20 feet, even with the throttle all the way down. So you have to watch out for that. No wind. It does take a long time for it to come down. That's the only negative thing I've got to say about the Mirror Robot. Okay, guys, let's get flying. Okay, guys, here's the X520. We're going to go with it first. Had a couple of accidents with it, like I told you before, even broke off one of the uh, horizontal stabilizers and used some hinge tape on that. Controller is really easy, vertical takeoff mode. You go into GPS, or 6G, and then 3G mode. So we're going to start out about half throttle, and we're going to come down here, and we're in vertical. We're going to say takeoff. Gonna flip the switch, and that is at full throttle. Recording some FPV on it at the same time too. Keeping her low so that you can uh, see her since it's a little bit cloudy. Keep it in close. We're going to take her a little further out and up. Try not to hit a light pole. And do a loop. This is excellent, excellent bird for beginners. She is so tough crashing. I mean, I crash this every way you possibly can. Half of, half of it's glued together. Just love this little bird. I've got three batteries. Batteries last, uh, it comes with it about eight to 10 minutes, depending on how you fly. The other batteries last about 10 or 11 minutes. That is full climb in stabilized mode in 6G. And she will turn tight. Let's do one more loop, see if we can do that. I usually mess up on the second or third one, so hopefully it won't crash it. That's a semi-loop. That was a little bit too low. trim it out a little bit. We're going to go bring it over here, hopefully a little bit slower and do a vertical. Get her going upwind in just a second. So we can slow down a little bit. Wind's blowing just a little bit. She don't like that.
All right, we're going to bring her in for a landing and fly the M600. See you guys in a second. Okay, guys, now here's the M600 using the FlySky FSI 6X controller. To put it in vertical mode, I've programmed it to have this switch in the down position. 6G is in the middle, 3G is all the way up. I am not going to do any loops here. Um, haven't tried it yet. This thing is so fast. I am going to take it down into rate 2, so the turns and everything are going to be a little bit slower, but she's still really quick. So, it's got her down at vertical. We're going to start the motors and get her going. Not. Oh, we got to arm it first. How about that? There we go. Now rate 2. Man, I got too many drones and controls and everything. There we go. Okay, that's about what the X520, XKX520 would fly. Bring her in low. She's a little bit louder. Oh, we got some trimming work to do here. And that's in low rate on her turns. That is her at about quarter throttle. Bring her around. And it's going to take some use getting used to. I haven't flown a full battery on this yet. Some people say it's 20 minutes. Not at full speed, I bet. But that is at almost zero throttle. That is zero throttle there. Look how she glides. Ah, oh, that's sweet. picking up now. I was afraid of that. When it settles down, I'll do a vertical to show you how it lands. Because she wants to climb when you do that. That's high rate. To get your adrenaline up trying to fly this bird in the wind. No, I'm not talking a whole lot, but man, I'm having to concentrate on this. Uh, I just want it to slow down a little bit and the wind to die down.
really have the throttle on. Okay, there's her vertical. See how she climbs? Throttles all the way down. Sorry about getting in the sun, guys. She's not coming down. The wind's taking her away, so I'm going to have to flip her back up. And I'm not going to attempt that landing. We're going to take her down and glide her in. Hope we don't break a prop. These props are so brittle. I've already broken two. It's always on the number one motor left side from the rear of the plane okay I guess you can hear the shotgun fire in the back that's somebody hunting that's not anybody shooting around here okay we're going to gently glide her in Kill the motors. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the review. Make up your own minds, but if I was going to buy one for the first time, I'd definitely get the XKX520. It's so easy to mod and put a FPV camera on the top, strap a 3.7 battery from a SEMA or something on the bottom, and record some cool video. All right, guys, thanks for looking. I'll talk to you later.